We're in France, I think. France or Spain. <laughs> no, we're in Fonte Rameau. I actually have to say Fonte Rameau again. Gillian has, has been uh, all his life here. These are his mountains. He knows uh, better than everyone those, those mountains. I'm born not far from here, just at 10 kilometers in the, in the south. It's here I know every rock, every tree, so uh, when we go running here, it's, it's just, uh, it's different. It's here that uh, my parents give me the, the love of the, of the nature and the mountain. It's kind of hard to believe almost sometimes. I kind of think I have to pinch myself and <laughs> yeah, think, am I actually here? Am I just dreaming? <laughs> I find it always really refreshing just to get out into the mountains and uh, not really follow a, a structured plan. I get mentally tired and um, physically tired as well, so it's nice to have a break. And I almost think if you don't do that, your body will kind of force it upon you. Competing is a small percentage of what we're actually doing. In order to improve and to actually go forward uh, in your racing career and, and as a person, you've got to look back and, and reflect. It's just about going out there and actually enjoying the moment. There's times when I'm running for competition. There's time when I run to escape. There's times when I run to just fully be in the moment as well. And that's absolutely not escaping. That's being as present as possible. Maybe other people think in a different way, but I like to think that, uh, first of all, I want to, to enjoy it, and then all, all the other things. I think it's all about being yourself. That's the way it was before, and that's the way it will continue to be. As long as I can be out in the mountains and enjoying it, then that's the most important thing to me. I think that's what keeps us together. And I, I don't even think it's necessarily mountains. I think it's just having a love for the natural aspect. I need that more than I need a race to compete in. Being out there and just being in the sun, being in nature. I don't know, it sounds, it sounds kind of crazy, but you know, it's, it's yeah, I think it, there's another dimension there that, that seems quite common with trail runners. Do we share this passion? And we have the same values. And it's for this that the community is so strong. When you have a mutual respect for, for people, whether they're running for 20 hours or, or three hours. <laughs> We don't talk about competition, we don't talk about the winners. Those barriers are, are, are stripped down and we all kind of share the same common bond. <laughs> the winner is not the, the position, the winner is the people that enjoy this. It's uh, definitely a shared feeling and, and shared connection. I think, I think we all are here for the same reason. The pleasure of seeing new places to run on new trails and meet new, passionate people. It's all about that. Being a better trail runner as well, because I want to, I want to be better. My objective is to race many years, not just one and, and stop. They're just doing what, they're, what they love, and it's obviously working. People who seem to be there for the long run are the ones who really love it and really love the mountains. Because we parcours tous different courses, we go on different paths, but the result is the same. It's that we love to explore the mountains. But at the end of the day, running is running, and it's a, it's a universal language. So being here around the energy of all the other athletes, you know, I'm starting to feel that fire again to, to compete and to, to start training hard again. Competition is important because it's important to have this kind of events just to be uh, all together, all the family together. <laughs> Are you okay? 
filming. Yes. <laughs> okay.